So the Big 12, the SEC, and the Big 10 have actually come to the defense of the ACC and ESPN in court. I mean, that's a headline. Like, if you want to just cut it off right there, the Big 12, the SEC, and the Big 10 have come to the ACC's defense and ESPN's defense uh, by proxy here in the Florida State and Clemson lawsuits. Um, I'm going to read to you an article from the Tampa Bay Times. This is Matt Baker, who is another guy that you've heard here on the channel. But he says, the three power conferences have joined with the ACC in urging a Tallahassee court to protect the ACC's TV deals with ESPN. So there's the hook. There's the hook, right? You're sitting there saying, well, why, why would they do this? <laughs> like, what are you... We were just talking about the Big 12 circling the waters as the shark, like waiting for more realignment, waiting for the ACC to blow up to go take one of those schools. Like, why would they then join in and help the ACC in court? Well, it's because they don't want their TV deals out there with ESPN as well. They they don't want any of that. Yep. ESPN, I can remember Greg Flugar asking the question a while back, like, you know, why, what is, why is ESPN so prickly about this getting out there? Like, what could potentially be hidden there? We do actually get some answers uh, here in this article. The article says the conference's unity came through court filings uh, last week in response to a complaint by Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody last month. Moody accused the ACC of breaking Florida's public records law by not providing a copy of the league's TV contracts with ESPN. Those documents are potentially relevant in the ongoing dueling lawsuits. Da, 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 da. The ACC, SEC, Big Ten, and Big 12 argued in Leon County Circuit Court. Here it is. You need a law degree to cover college football and college athletics these days. Now, if you want to cover the Big 12, here we are in Leon County Court. Somehow it all comes back to Tallahassee. Everybody, if you're going to compete in college athletics, apparently you've got to be involved in a Leon County Circuit Court somehow. Uh, but they argued in Leon County Circuit Court records that the documents must remain confidential to protect trade secrets. Uh, though some financial details have become public, the ACC said the ESPN contracts have other trade secrets too. Everything from how football broadcasts are selected to operational costs, sponsorship information, signage, future payouts, and conference composition provisions. Uh, kept confidential, they plainly confer the ACC a competitive advantage and benefit, the filing said. Okay, let's review this list here. How football broadcasts are selected. I, I started thinking about this. I was like, man, I guess there, there really are like a lot of a lot of things that go into all this that we don't totally know exactly how it works. I mean, we know that we get like the TV selections usually just under two weeks in advance. Sometimes it goes to the six day window, but what is happening? What is the exact process for that? Could some feelings get hurt if it's out there? How exactly these football broadcasts are selected? What are the stipulations there? Like, could it just cause more drama and people wondering what the hell is going on? In addition to ESPN saying, well, then Fox and everybody else would know what we're doing here and they could base their contracts off of that, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, sponsorship information, signage, uh, future payouts. That's uh, that's a pretty big one to slip in there. Future payouts, structuring things, you know, things like, hey, we've actually got an option to terminate this contract early in 2027 instead of 2036. That's already obviously been out there. But if there are more provisions like that, and I think that was like probably where Greg was coming from when I first initially heard him say that a while back, like, you know, are there more things like that that are in these that they just don't want us to know about? Um, there, there could be, there could be um, even conference composition provisions. So, okay. Are there things in these contracts that say, if your league expands, if your league dwindles, how does that affect what the contract actually is? Um, yes. Yes. Those are all things that I can see why they wouldn't want out there. Those are all things that could uh, cause some drama. The ACC's conference competitors agreed in an amicus brief. In addition to the financial terms, their TV contracts with ESPN and others include details like commercial spots, benefits to corporate sponsors, and necessary accommodations for producing the broadcast. Okay, there, there's even more details about what they could be worried about getting out there. Commercial spots, how these commercials are all working. I, I, that, to me, seems like something that 
could be uh, important to ESPN. That would be a competitive disadvantage if a Fox were to get a hold of that, like how you're actually negotiating with your advertising partners for commercial spots, um, benefits to corporate sponsors, necessary accommodations. If TV networks knew a conference was willing to offer a specific package of games at a certain price to one broadcaster, they could use that knowledge to negotiate against the league. That seems pretty plainly obvious. If they knew a conference was willing to offer a specific package of games at a certain price to one broadcaster, well, you could you could just go undercut it, right? Hey, we'll take it for I don't know, whatever your number is. 10, 10%. We'll take it 10% less. 10% less and we'll do the same thing for you. Uh, quote, requiring disclosure of those media agreements would make the conference's confidential strategies available to their competitors and other potential contracting counterparties, the Big Ten, Big 12, and SEC brief said. You know, side note, can we can we consider this the alliance? Is this a new alliance? Do we have an alliance between the Big Ten, Big 12, and SEC? Feels kind of alliancy to me here on this thing. Did they write it on the back of a napkin, like the gentleman's agreement from the alliance, the OG alliance, the original alliance that we had? Uh, we can only, only hope. ESPN went farther in its brief. The network said releasing its contracts would allow competitors to, quote, gain a leg up on ESPN in the next round of negotiations with rights holders. Florida would be harmed, its filing said, because ESPN and other networks might balk at doing business with state schools if their contracts could become public. That's an interesting thought, an interesting take on this. Like, this is all being challenged by the attorney general on the grounds of Florida open records law. So if if that were to happen and they were to say, well, yeah, actually these laws require that this gets out there, then you're going to scare off people from wanting to do deals that are going to be involved in the state of Florida. No one's going to want to do that if their deals are going to then become public knowledge here or could become public knowledge based on somebody really challenging this. So there, there are a lot of tentacles to that. It, it doesn't seem to me like is anything crazy nefarious going on i think they do have a pretty good point here that there's some proprietary information that could be harmful if it got out but i still don't think there was an expectation from people that you would have all the schools come running to the acc and espn's defense like i know i i texted a bit or i dm'd a bit with doug rohan who you guys have seen give excellent legal analysis of this case uh, from the Florida state side of things. I said, like, was this, is that common? Like, did you expect that? And he said, no, I, I was surprised for sure. So that is not something that I think was really anticipated here. And it does sound like too, I listened to uh, Doug on college football addiction talking about that. There, there may be an element of like some political grandstanding going on here by the attorney general as well. Uh, trying to kick up some support from Florida State folks, I guess it would sound like here, with really challenging this and wanting those to, you know, just needling the ACC and needling ESPN as they are uh, embroiled in that legal battle right now that, of course, revolves around Florida State, who is very, very upset about how things went last year in the college football playoff and in the ACC in general.